Max, what's going on? We just done City, haven't we? How? How? What? The, the, that first half? What? Jose Mourinho's half-time talks. That's mate, what mate, I think Fergie's been in there at half-time or something like that. His face when they were 2-0 up, he wasn't happy at all, but that's what it's all about. Got to give a lot of credit to Pogba for the amount of stick he gets, especially off United fans yeah. in general, and to come and just score two goals here. Fantastic, especially when it matters. Biggest criticism that I've had about Pogba is his mentality. What he seems like is he's one of them players where when things aren't going well for him, he's just like, ah, it's not none of my business, this. He's shown today why that's wrong, because it wasn't going right for him in that first half. Do you know what the thing is about Pogba? I agree with you. I think he tries too much sometimes. I think he tries to prove his worth too much. And do you know what? Get your head down, bag two goals like that, and that's all anyone's ever going to say about you, because he's done a job there to come and score two goals for us is fantastic and two well-worked goals. Another one as well. I mean, the other fella who probably had a, a, even even worse first half than Pogba, Smalling. Yeah. And he's just come back and back as a goal. What can you say? You can't criticise him if... They, well, you can, but it outweighs what they've just done there compared to the first half performance. Uh, absolutely brilliant. I thought the way they knocked the ball about just then leading up to the goals and the confidence going forward. If we played like that every game, I don't know where we'd be this season. I don't even want to be negative. I want to no, say, I mean, no, I'm no, thinking no. Maybe, maybe I should ask you about the first half, but I'm thinking I don't even want to. It's just like, but what was, what? I, like, I can't even contemplate in my head how it was so different. It was like two different scenes. The first half was like watching frigging West Brom or something. We didn't have a shot on target in the first half. Do you know what? That's mentality. They weren't up for it, and I don't know what you need to get up for a derby like this, but Mourinho's put it in them at half time and they've come out kicking second half and they've done them in. And that just proves that if you don't show this team any respect, like we did at Old Trafford when we came here and when they came to us and we just showed them loads of respect, if you press this City team high and hard and you actually get an attack on, you can do them in. Their defence is weak. Quick question for you. I have genuinely heard people saying this week that this City team is the greatest Premier League team of all time. We know they're going to win the league this season, yeah. but explain why that's a load of nonsense. Right, it's a load of absolute bollocks that they're the best team in the league because the Invincibles aren't even close to any United team that's come there, and these are a mile off the Invincibles, yeah? They're out the Champions League to the Scousers, who we've just done in 2-1. Yeah, they've won the league, so what? We've won 20. Who cares, mate? They are nowhere near the best team. They, they're a good team, I'll give them that, but they've got flaws all over the team. Nowhere near the best team. You're talking about a team that has just lost 3-0 to Liverpool or are in third place and a team that has just managed to lose 3-2 despite being 2-0 up at half-time. If you call that the best Premier League team of all time, when you've also got them Arsenal Invincibles in the equation, <laughs> United's treble winners in the occasion, it's a load of squad. nonsense. 08 squad, absolute bollocks. But, mate, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, mate. Nice Honestly, to you, mate. I appreciate it.